Today we're going to review a D-Rose shoe that I've never reviewed before on this channel at all. You may be thinking to yourself, what shoe could that possibly be? Well, the tile down below kind of gives it away. But this is the D-Rose 773-3s. This is a shoe that I like had opportunities to buy a handful of different colorways of, but I never did. And so I was looking to kind of add one to my collection for a while because I wanted to have one, but I didn't want really to have multiple because I'm not super fond of this shoe actually. We'll get into that a little bit more later, but uh, you know, I figured when I found these on eBay, I think it was either earlier last year or, or earlier this year or sometime last year, I knew that when I found this colorway, I was like, okay, if I can win the bidding process on it, I'll get this one because these were dead stock, minus not having their box. Um, so yeah, the 773 line, uh, to me, was a hit or miss line for uh, after well, uh, with this shoe moving forward until like the 2020s. The 2020s are pretty decent. Um, and the reason why is because this shoe really rubbed me the wrong way and it had me be very untrusting of future Rose uh, shoes. And it's because the fact that like the way this shoe is constructed, this synthetic uh, like leather upper is so stiff that um, it just, I, when I tried it on in store, I knew that every way you bend your foot, it just like, it, it just pinches. And it's not something I was super fond of. You're, you do have a sprint frame in here, it's here in the back, which has these three stripes on it as well, as you know, that carry on to the outsole. Um, there's, that's a good thing, but again, it's just a weird shoe, man. Uh, this midsole is an EVA midsole, nothing special. This shoe came out the same year as the, uh, 4.5 if I'm not mistaken uh, you can see that too even with the uh, way that they have like similar to the 4.5s they have this lace drooly that has a D-Rose logo but then on the other side it says uh, 773 which is something that I do find neat you also have the Rose logo there too on the side which I do like that as well and this particular colorway has this print on here that reminds me kind of of like um, the rocks, the rocks tattoos, or even like um, the uh, the is his name Maui and uh and uh, Moana that's voiced by the Rock. Uh, so it gives me that similar type of cultural vibe as well. That could be totally off. That could have nothing to do with this colorway. But it's what I immediately think of when I do see these. Uh, and I and the thing is, I do like the colorway a lot. And that's again why. I held out to get this one because the only other colorway of these I was really interested in getting was they did a 773-3 that was a Team USA colorway that had um, like some of the geo uh, that well, had like the uh, the geographical prints on it of this upper a little bit that went back to like how the Rose 2.5s had that and then the other thing that I liked about it too was that the insult said USA and so it made me think like oh if Derek had played in the Olympics this summer would he have worn this shoe. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I'm not a huge fan of this ship one, and it even made me scared to get those 773 4s, which from the way they those looked and from what I've heard, those were a great shoe, but I never could play in them. Um, another thing, too, I did notice as well, they has the DS logo there. And if we pop out this insole, too, I can show you guys that it has that same print that's on the outs or on the upper is here on this insole. And this insole itself is kind of like one of the older Adidas ones. Uh, it's nothing to write home about, but again, at the same time, it's uh, it's nice. One thing I have heard people say about this shoe is they do really like the tongue on there because it's a big, kind of like fat, puffy tongue, but there's not a lot of padding there, so. But it is cool having the Rose logo on there, big like that. I do kind of dig that. And I like this shoe now more so just because of its uniqueness, because I think out of most of the shoes in the Rose line, there isn't very many shoes that are like this. There's a 7733 Lux, which is also a different shoe that has a shroud on the upper, which is similar and harkens back to the TS uh, Cut Creators. Is that the TS Supernatural Cut Creators? Honestly, I always forget because there's multiple different ones. There's multiple uh, TS Cut Creators with other names behind them. Um, but you guys are the ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about those right there because of the zipper on there. The 773, uh, uh, like Lux has a zipper on the upper. So that's another one that like I plan on getting a pair at some point. Maybe I'll get a pair by the end of the month before this review, before the reviews uh, end, or maybe I'll save it for the next time I do the challenge if I can get it myself uh, 
you know, my hands in a pair. But yeah, this shoe is just, uh, it's kind of different. Um, again, I'm not super fond of how they feel on foot, and I'm not super fond about uh, the way they feel like they would perform for basketball. I never even tried playing basketball on them, and especially one at this point. The other thing too, before I get out of here guys, I didn't even mention this. My other thing too is I didn't like the traction pattern on here. For some reason, this just didn't look like it was going to grip well and and like and, and the thing is like it, it has like it the thing is like i think the patterns in here it's really wide so like it should grip pretty decently but i think really just the cushioning in them and just the way it, i just i don't know there's something about the shoe guys i don't know what it is to anyone at adidas if you're were from this era and you worked in the shoe please do not take offense to what i'm saying it's again it's just my opinion it's not that serious i i still think this colorway is dope um, but the 7733s, they can hold that. I'm, uh, I'm cool off getting multiple colorways of this. Whereas, like, some of the shies, I want multiple pairs. 1.5s, multiple pairs. 2s, multiple 3s, multiple, like, like, you know. 7731s, that shoe, that. I wish I had gotten a couple more pairs of that. But, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this review. Thanks for tuning in to another Data D-Rose Sneaker Challenge. Until next time, guys, peace. I'll see you around later. Bye.